How's it going guys? Welcome to the Blue Shifting and welcome back to Sunrider Part 19. Well, Sunrider Liberation Day that is. Alright, we're really progressing now in the alternate timeline, which is way longer than the uh, the failure one was. So, buckle up, this one gets intense. But thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoy it as much as I did. And look forward to finding the next episode next week. Please, on time. My goodness, my schedule went out of whack. But we're going to be back on track. So, let's do it. Shield left the staff meeting thoroughly exhausted. He had told his future self everything he knew about the enemy's capabilities. Meanwhile, Fontana informed them that he'd, his best minds were working around the clock to restore control over their ships. However, it would be another two hours before the fixes were completed. Chigara was safely detained in the brig. So far, there were no signs of the prototype leader assuming control over her. In other words, Shield had done everything he possibly could to avert the Liberation Day Massacre. Now, all that remained was to wait and see if his efforts bore fruit. I'm scared. I'm scared. What's gonna happen? Kato. Ava, need something more? No. I was merely going to invite you for a meal in my office. It's not every day when I get to speak with you. Come to think of it, I was thinking the same. It'd be nice to have a chat for once. What's gonna happen here? What the? Let to do and dud. I love that. <laughs> On the desk. That's pretty cool. A short time later, the two of them were in the XL's quarters with plates of food from the mess hall. Ava cut to her steak. I'm afraid I still am having a hard time believing you're here from the future, much less that there are two Kato shields in this universe. One who captains this ship, and another from the future. No kidding. It's not any easier for me to get used to either. I can just punch myself in the face. For me, this is still my ship. There's another guy captaining it. But that guy's still me, but, but not me. I better not think about this too long or else I'm just going to get it to drive me crazy. Tell the truth though, I'm not sure if I have the right to call the Sunrider my ship anymore. In my timeline, I'm the one who got it sunk. <sighs> Maybe it's better that the other guy's in charge. He might be a stubborn crap face, but in the end, he realized that Chigara was a spy. It's something I never would have been able to do myself. No, he only made the right call thanks to your assistance. Still, it certainly is reassuring to know that you've matured a bit in the future. War truly does make men grow old early. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. I'm still the old Cato Shields, just armed with the benefit of hindsight. Any fool knows what he should have done in retrospect. I'm not doing anything special. In any matter, talking about your timeline seems moot, as our actions have effectively ended that universe. Now, we head towards the future which is yet unwritten. One which we steer with our decisions. Hey, Ava. This is kind of changing the subject. But, um... You know, in my version of events, you, uh... Told me that you lied about not remembering our promise. You know. That promise we made after we, uh... Did it in Advance Academy a week before your graduation. <laughs> oh, snap! God, Kato... Ava grabbed her brow in frustration, obviously displeased with the course the conversation was taking. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, as blunt as ever. Look, Ava. Resolving the situation with Jagar is not the only thing I need to do in this universe. What about us? We left a lot of things hanging. And maybe I was just running away from it all into, into Jagara's arms. Maybe that's what the prototypes were counting on. We both ran away. But, since you're not the captain, I suppose I can talk about it. This time, I'm afraid I'm not your XO. Merely your friend. I'm more than happy with that. The day we abandoned Sarah scoured everyone on board this ship. It's a day which we will not, cannot, forget. Even if we wished we could. My father was presumably killed the instant the Legion reduced command to a charting crater. Ever, even though I was always distant from that man, he modeled me into who I am today. I imagine I am his spinning image now, professional, detached. Whenever I look at myself in the mirror, I see him staring back at me. Will I ever measure up to his expectations? Likely not, as my most vivid memories of him are when he disciplined me, a stern face which always, won only, which always only said, you must work harder. It is the only expression I see in my own reflection now. It is the only face I am capable of making. 
His goat, jeez, holy crap, talk about death's past. Mm, I'm so sad. His ghost will not permit me to entertain any girlish fantasies of becoming reunited with my academy sweetheart or any such like rubbish. Such delusions have no place in the mind of an XL. My duty, is, uh, my duty to you was to remain professionally detached and provide you with rational counsel. Nothing more. Ghost. Huh. Ghost. She does look beside him. Oh man, there she is. Ah. Oh. Kato, what are you doing talking to Ava without me? Oh, Avi. Avi, not Ava. Avi. Oh, you're eating steak too? Unfair. Big Brother's unfair. I want some too. <sighs> Fandoms are the only projections of the living regrets. He put his fork down, suddenly feeling queasy. You see them too. Of course. Not a night goes by. I regret surviving that day. Perhaps if I died too, then I would be with her now. <laughs> what am I saying? Can't say I'm actually religious enough to actually believe that. <laughs> Ava stood up from her seat and knelt before Kato. Kato, I'm sorry for never saying it then. When I was the only one who could understand half the weight you carry on your back. And I will say it now. You did not let anyone down that day. In the eyes of the crew, you're a hero. In my eyes, you're the very same Kato I grew fond of all those years back. The very same Kato who never left my side, no matter how unreasonable my orders. And so I, Ava Crescentia, will do the very same. If you wish to march to the center of the sun, then I shall accompany you by your side to the very end. I know, Ava. Shields put his hand on Ava's head and stroked her long flowing hair. Oh boy. Buckle up. It's getting emotional, man. It's getting there. He leaned down and approached her lips. She raised her face and closed her eyes. Dang. Just gonna go for it, huh? They thus met again for the first time in so many years. I guess just this one time is alright. After all, I don't know when I'll be able to stand before you as just a friend again. Ava? Uh, well, uh. Oh, jeez. Oh, buckle up. Sensor is coming, I'm sure. Because I've had the sensor stuff at this game before. Wouldn't surprise me now. While well, Shields had momentarily caught a respite thanks to his actions, he had no idea that the biggest crisis was still yet to come. Shortly after spending time with Ava, he received a summons to the bridge. Okay, so good I didn't nothing I had to see, huh? He arrived to see the tense face of the commander of the command crew. What happened? Jagar's escaped. We don't know how, but she managed to open her cell. And security. Aid Marines, all in serious condition when a nearby conduit blew. Obviously not a coincidence. I've already got security tunneling through the ship inside out to find her, but she somehow managed to manipulate all our cameras too. It took us a good half hour until we realized that all the footage was fake. Jeez. I mean, obviously the entire ship is her playground. She'd been here for like a year. We're up against a prototype here. Her brain's been artificially augmented to perform feats beyond our imagination. Her objective's gotta be escape. We need to dismantle that we need to disassemble the Liberty now. We've already placed it in lockdown. That won't be enough. Start by removing the fusion reactor, then take it off all the limbs. Could have used it during the battle. I think we have to take it apart our own rider. Without a pilot, there's no point in keeping it. We need to avoid the worst case scenario of having it used against us. <sighs> Do what he says, Commander. You have authorization to remove the Liberty Director. Do it immediately. Sir! Just disassembling the Liberty won't be enough, though. She could still escape on a shuttle, or a life pod, or any other rider. Still plenty of holes in the plan, huh? Oh. Crap on a cracker. Everyone's anxiety peaked when the ship's alarm went off. There. That itched my ear. What now? Contacts! Red alert. Cease all the resupply operations and man the battle stations. A packed loyalist fleet heading our way. Approximately 300 strong. Have to get past the Alliance defensive line. 
We're getting reports of a single packed rider dismantling their forces. The combined fleet has been split into two, allowing a packed strike fleet to pass through and approach the rear lines. A single packed rider? That can only be one thing. Shields still vividly remembered the grotesque power of the Nightmare Ascendant. In the previous timeline, they have only just barely defeated it thanks to the power of the combined fleet and Fontana's forces. This time, the conditions of the battle were completely different. Instead of fighting in the front lines with full support of the Alliance, they were now facing the Nightmare Ascendant in an ambush. Further, Fontana's fleet was still not operational. It's the Nightmare Ascendant, an ancient Ryuvian rider now controlled by the leader of the prototypes. On top of the overwhelming firepower and defenses, the prototype leader can somehow awaken just like a Saga and Sola, making it nigh invincible. And you're saying you defeated it in your timeline? Yeah, but only with the help of the combined fleet and Fontana's allied forces. Sounds like you were playing in easy mode when you went through this. The other shells turned towards the tactical map. We should have seen the ambush coming. With their spine board, the Sunrider exposed, and Fontana about to, onto their sabotaging efforts, the prototype's best bet is to kill us all before Fontana's ships entered into play. That means you've already all thought through the plan, right? Fortunately, our counter tactics are limited. Sunrider stops them completely to our resupply. While the Liberty is out of commission, even knowing the ambush was going to occur, our only option was to meet it head on. The combined fleet is still tangled with that sizable remainder of packed ships. The Alliance will not be able to spare many ships to come to our aid. If we fall here, the packed strike fleet will completely route our supply line, meaning the combined fleet will face an attack from the rear with no fallback position. Put Fontana on the line. Sir! Looks like the Alas has made her move. We are still an hour away from removing the virus from our ships. You'll have to hold out until then. We don't have an hour, Fontana. I don't care if you leave half your ships behind, get your forces in order, and assist us with whatever you can muster. <sighs> Very well. The sabotage is most extensive on our assault carriers. If we prioritize repairing our fast cruisers only, then we could be by your side in 15 minutes. Alright, no choice. After Shields cut the channel, Fontana, Saga's voice crackled through the comm. This is your rider squad standing by. Good. Bring the sortie. Begin sortie immediately. The map's filling up with red all around us. Watch out for the new packed rider. Target designation Ascendant. It's lost technology and its pilot can awaken just like you. Understood. What the? Suddenly the roaring of the rider thrusters peaked at the comms output. <gasps> the black drop's taking off without me! Oh, fetch. No! Crap. Close the hangar gate. Negative. We're using emergency override now. We won't be able to launch any other riders out either. She also tore herself from the tactical map and ran towards the hangar. Where are you going? No point having two Kato shields on the bridge. I'm leaving the battle to you. You're still captain of this ship. I'm gonna stop Chigara. Alright. Good luck, partner. Yeah, good luck. With that, shield entered the lift and went down to deck two. Is he gonna take her fire her rider? Oh my gosh. Or well I guess the soccer should probably take it. Shield entered the hangar to see the deck crew desperately trying to keep the blackjack from launching. They had somehow managed to attach a ceiling-mounted electromagnetic clamp onto the shoulder particle gun, while a sparing rifle jammed the launch rail. No! Get back! The blackjack leaned down and fired its engine, sending the crew scattering in every direction. The hangar groaned as the ceiling superstructure holding the clamp slowly bent against the blackjack. Oh man, just think about that. It'd be like having like a... Oh, I don't know, it'd be like... It's like... It's gonna burst like a chest burster out of the ship? That would really suck. A saga arrived on a buggy. Captain, we got a situation! No kidding, come on, we gotta figure out a way to keep Chigara from escaping with your ride. The ship's flank gun exploded through the echo through the hangar. The ship took shook as the missile impacted, sending shields to the floor. Crap, as if that wasn't enough, look at the bat looks like the battle's begun. Steel groaned overhead. Shields looked up just in time to see a steel support holding the clamp finally giving out. Watch out! He died on top of the saga as steel and concrete rained around them. Luckily, the debris had short, fell a short distance away, covering them both in dust, but not causing any injuries. Finally loose, the blackjack hit its thrusters and flew across the hangar. No, it's getting away! At the last second, the paladin stepped out of its maintenance bay and blocked the exit. Halt! The blackjack stopped and drew its assault rifle. No! He grabbed the saga by the elbow and sprinted for cover. The blackjack unleashed a torrent of bullets inside the hangar, sending shrapnel ricocheting throughout the hangar. An unlikely crewman took the brick-sized fragment to his shoulder, cleaving a foot-long opening down his chest, instantly killing him. 
His body sprayed blood as it fell to the ground. Yeah, these things are huge. Even just like the casings from the bullets would probably be lethal. Shield suppressed his nausea. Shrapnel bounced all around him. Fool! The paladin, unaffected by the small caliber fire, thanks to its armor, shot forward and collided with the blackjack. The two steel behemoths struggled against each other like two enormous sumo wrestlers. Sumo warriors. The blackjack opened its missile pods. Oh! It fires its missiles in here, the whole ship's gonna blow! Just then, the phoenix shot forth the katana drawn. Hiya! The blackjack shot its reverse thrusters, narrowly avoiding getting cleaved in half. It spun its pulse gun in sword mode and activated its laser beam. Huh, never thought I'd be fighting the blackjack in the ship hangar. The blackjack hit its wing thruster, boosting forward. The phoenix nimbly moved out of the way, sending the blackjack crashing into the maintenance bay. This is super exciting, holy crap! Shield braced his head against the cacophony of collapsing steel. The blackjack turned around and swiped its laser beam, but the phoenix once again proved too fast, spinning out of the way. This place is too darn small. I can't use my assault guns either. The phoenix shot upwards, skimming against the ceiling, and came down with a powerful helm crusher. The blackjack deflected the phoenix's katana with his black iron blade. The phoenix ducked at the blackjack's beam sword slashed laterally, cutting through another maintenance bay. Too slow! Its beam sword still moving on its own momentum, and the black iron sword too heavy to raise in time, the phoenix shot forward, deftly dug its sword into the blackjack's shoulder. Duh! Can't! Get enough momentum going on here! Not to mention the gravity's killing my speed! Shields grabbed a handful of mic a handheld microphone. Akari! The missile pods! Crap! Just as Akari realized the blackjack could destroy the entire ship at any moment, the blackjack tumbled to the floor. Shields saw Bianca approaching it, its grab gun activated. I've got this! Claude, pull the rear pull the reactor out. Understood. Just then Shields realized he had made a huge mistake. Wait a minute. And trust Claude with pulling out a highly explosive fusion reactor without the with, with the grav gun? Before Shields could react to his order, sparks flew from the back of the blackjack as its reactor was torn out. He squeezed his eyes shut and pressed himself to the floor, expecting the worst. Miraculously, when he opened his eyes, the reactor was safely on the floor and everyone was still alive. The flight crew flooded the hangar to control the situation. With a, bre with a breath of relief, he ran towards the now deactivated blackjack as well. Alright everyone, don't open the cockpit unless security arrives. Pull the reactor into cold sleep. Sir! Hmm. Is, the, is the blackjack alright? Looks like the arm's gonna have to be replaced with a spare. It also needs a new reactor, but it's nothing we can't handle. Everyone else, you need it outside. Sword to protect the ship. Copy. With most of the hangar destroyed, the remaining riders had no choice but to slowly file out the gate instead of using the line, linear rail. <sighs> That'd be frustrating. So frustrating. Meanwhile, the other Kato shield was caught in the middle of another life or death struggle. Three, three pack battleships approaching. Torpedo lock detected. Shields looked at the tactical map. The bulk of the combined fleet was still tied up with the main packed fleet. Roughly a hundred Alliance cruisers and two dozen battleships were stationed at the resupply line, but more than half of them were already damaged during the prior day and locked down for repairs or in the middle of resupply operations. Meaning he was both hopelessly outnumbered and outgunned. Fire, veter fire veteran thrusters. The Sunrider shook as it descended, coming alongside a trio of Alliance cruisers. They won't be firing their main guns, but their flat guns should still be operational. Torpedoes incoming! Three from above! The Sunrider's flat guns burst around the ship, lighting the black void of space with a million explosions. Come on, come on! He exhaled when the flat guns and the cruisers activated, aiding to the Sunrider's wall of fire. The nose of the forward torpedo fragmented as soon as it entered the flak shield and spun wildly before getting pulled by, apart by the G-forces. One down. The second torpedo stubbornly continued through his vortex of explosion, spraying with shrapnel, but still not losing structural integrity. So I poured down Shield's forehead. All I could do was pray. Finally, the torpedo gave way in a relentless assault of shrapnel, splintering into a million shreds. But Shield's luck had run out. The final torpedo survived the flak and headed on a direct course for the Sunrider's tower. All hands! Brace for impact! Shields gripped the table as the bridge shook. Hit on deck one! Fires reported in section 14! Loss of pressure in section 15! No damage to core systems! Man, this is awesome! This is the, like, I wish we could see, like, this part of the battle. Or, like, you know, they've got the new uh, VR game, the, 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 uh, bridge crew for, you know, the Enterprise one. Like, it's, it looks pretty cool. Like, I watched some, uh, some play of it. I want to play it someday, but can't afford VR right now. But, 
how cool would it be later on, like, as they, like, advance that technology a bit, to be able to go through, like, a battle like this where you actually have to, like, dash around and maybe, like, activate core systems and, like, have consoles explode and you have to, like, you fix them or, like, go to other consoles and, like, it'd be so cool. Man, I cannot wait to see what game is going to be in 20 years. Alright, back to this. The packed battleships were still too far away for the Sunrider to engage. Their missiles would be instantly shot down by Flak, while their lasers were useless against the enemy shields. Where are our riders? The linear rail is inoperable. They are attempting to sortie. Just then, the Phoenix shot out of the mouth of the ship. Sorry for being late. Had to walk out. The rest of the riders flew out one by one. What about the Blackjack? Temporarily out of commission. Crew's trying to put it back together as quickly as they can. Outnumbered, now lacking both the Liberty and the Blackjack. Shields racked his head for a strategy. Power search detected from enemy battleships. Crimson beams of light shot through the battle, shot from the battleships, burning trails of fire across the hull of the Sunrider. Shields hung on as the bridge swayed. He heard his groaning steel as the ship's structural lat, lat, lace lattice work melted away. He thought the Liberty shields were toast. More lasers cut through the ship. A console burst, fleeing a crew member to the ground with facial burns. Is this, is this the end? Just then, the, the space around the battleships distorted. A battle group of 50 packed flesh cruisers emerging from warp. Oh, thank goodness. The dagger, the, the daggers dropped down above the battleships and loosed a kinetic round after kinetic round as they dived towards the enemy's huge profile. The battleships attempted to return fire, but from the front, the fast cruisers were hardly targets, that, hardly larger than corvettes. The battleships round shot past as fire rained down from above. Ooh, that's actually well constructed. Like having like a very small, long, narrow ship. Once again, though, those ships are susceptible. If they get hit, they're not. They don't. They don't last very long. But make them hard to hit. That's pretty clever. Shield sighed in relief as the battleships fragmented from the relentless hailstorm of steel. My apologies for keeping you waiting, Shields. I never thought I'd actually be glad to see your face, Fontana. Now is not the time to jest. The situation is still dire. With a, mo with a moment's break, Ava turned to shields. Captain, incoming enemy! It's the... Oh, here she comes. Whoa, here she comes. The nightmare ascendant appeared before the Sunrider, its wings proudly outstretched. So you're the enemy leader I've heard so much about. Shields. I have no idea how you managed to intercept our spy. Or discover the sabotage done on Fontana's ships. But all of that will be meaningless if you and the Alliance fleet are destroyed. All units destroy the Sunrider. Attack! Oh boy. A swarm of prototype units launched from Pax carriers. Contacts! <laughs> oh, and here come the wings of death. The Ascendant's wings fire flyers detached and darted towards the Sunrider. We'll hold the line here! The Phoenix opened fire and sprayed the flyers with assault rounds, but they nimbly threw out of the Phoenix's firing arc. Fast little buggers! Two flyers circled around and shot forth spears of light. The Phoenix fired two with its wing thrusters, narrowly dodging the beams with a high corkscrew. High G corkscrew. Providence awaits. Sola's red eye ignited as she awakened. The movements of the drone suddenly slowing to so Sola's senses, as if they were swimming underwater. Focusing on her target, she lined up the shot and fired the Sephirim's rifle with power. Uh, with power. The flash, la uh, flash later, the Sola sh shot tore through a hole through the drone's midsection before erupting into a fireball. Thanks! The other drone spun around and came at the Phoenix for another pass, but this time Akari was prepared. She stepped her foot on the pedals, feeling the maximum energy to the engines. The Phoenix shot forward on an intercept vector from the drone. Yeah! With a near inhuman finesse, the Phoenix shot past the drone, katana drawn, and sliced it from end to end. The rear of the Ikari's cockpit illuminated as the drone exploded behind her. Two down! Before Ikari could, could celebrate, a dark shadow stretched across her rider. Crap. She spun around and wave it out of the way second before the Senate descended upon the Phoenix with a cl and cleaved it apart with his great sword. That's one hell of a huge sword! Huh! The Ascendant swaggered. Uh, the Ascendant swaggered. They literally really swaggered like, oh yeah. And <laughs> it swaggered towards the Phoenix sword raised above its head. Akari barely managed to block the Ascendant's blade in time. Despite the titanic size, the Ascendant moved quick as a viper. God, the, the thing has wrecked three reactor cores. 
No matter how you look at it, I know I'm, I'm unmatched here. The Ascendant merely shoved the Phoenix out of the way with another mighty downward strike. The Phoenix's katana shattered into a million pieces. Ooh, that's not good. Which, by the way, this is true to form. In the battle, Ikari was the only one in genuine danger because, like, I, like, it, it was so clever. I don't know if you remember this, but remember I had, like, the little ship fighters I just bought because I had the money for it. And I turned out that they were the perfect buffer because she couldn't hit them with her sword, but they prevented her from getting close enough to my other riders with her sword, which would have been absolutely devastating because, like, I sent Ikari out to do a melee strike against her once. Which did like eh amount of damage, and then she she took her out in one strike, and I had to like resurrect her to get her back. Whew. Crap. Ikari fired wing thrusters in a panic, but her moment of carelessness allowed a drone to line up a shot. The beam tore through one of the Phoenix's wing thrusters, sending it spiraling out of control. Oh, fetch! Are we gonna lose people here too? Oh, providing assistance. Solo rained down shots. Alice's eye dyed blue as she awakened and deflected the bullets with one, with two swings of the great sword. Impossible. Tip of the, the tip of the ascendant's particle gun glowed red as it left forth a scarlet lance, cutting into the Sephiroth's leg and sli slicing apart the scanner dish. Is it yes, the scanner dish? <sighs> Sola, are you all right? Yes, but the Sephiroth's no longer fit to fight. Returning to base. The phoenix is out too, Captain! Without a sword, I can't do anything out here. Huh. I'll hold back while you two escape. Don't do anything stupid. Of course! I accidentally clicked my head. Sorry about that. The paladin banged its rifle against the shield and moved in to cover, moved in to cover the two riders' escape. Its rear cannons rotated forward and shot high-density black iron towards the ascendant. Useless! The Ascendant fired one of his knee thrusters, corkscrewing towards the Paladin. God! All the Paladin's missile pods opened, sending streams of smoke spiraling outwards. The Ascendant nimbly dodged through the missiles. The missiles, which didn't pack, put near scratch on the Ancient Rider's frame. Huh? At that moment, Bianca used a gravity gun to immobilize the Ascendant. No! Thanks! The Paladin unloaded all of his munitions into the Ascendant at point blank range. Smoke and fire enveloped the Ascendant as she received volley after volley of cannon fire, a swarm of missiles, and even a stream of assault rounds for good measure. It would seem to be too good to be it, it seemed to be too good to be true if the Ascendant went down so easily. Krishka's blood went cold when she sensed movement behind her. <laughs> Alice licked her lips as the Ascendant struck the Paladin's blind spot. Somehow it had managed to escape from Bianca's gravity well and circled around behind the Paladin. Oh! The Paladin barely deflected the sudden sword with an ambivalent shield. The Paladin's entire arm bent from the strike, sending sparks flying from its joints. This is not going well! This is going very, very badly! Say goodnight! Just as the Ascendant was about to deliver the coup de, coup de gras, a cross guard of lasers and steel, blo steel blocked the sword from reaching the Paladin. Ha! Ja. The so-called... Oh, the so-called Char Re Reuvia. Sorry for being late. I had to fill the Liberty Reactor into the Blackjack before I could move again. Asaga hit the reverse thrusters moments before the Ascendant overpowered def powered its defenses. The Blackjack whirled out of its way, the Ascendant firing its particle gun. Its remaining drone spiraling towards the Blackjack like hounds onto a prey. Oh, it's so epic! It's so epic! Jeez, this game... This game is amazing. In a flurry of pulse bolts, the saga took two more of the drones out before ducking and weaving through a cobweb of, cobweb of lasers. Spanning, spinning in a wild dance that shot a stream of particles from the shoulder guns, cutting through the third drone, the tip of the particle guns began to char black and repeatedly overheat. Crap! The Liberty's reactor is feeding way more power than usual. Shigara must have modified it to generate a lot more energy to power her ECM suit. All of the Blackjack's movements felt jerky, like a wild bull. One false move could cause the Blackjack to spiral out of control, or worse, cause the thruster to burst. And for some reason, Asaga's face broke into a grin. This power... I like it! She slammed down her foot to the pedal, sending the Blackjack forward with an explosive speed. Asaga clenched her teeth as she was plastered against her seat. Yeah! She shot forward and Nightmare sent her blade drawn. <laughs> fool! The Senate raised her sword high and shot forward as well. 
crap, we're gonna go jousting? Shield put his hands together in prayer as he saw the two streaks of light closing on each other on the bridge. Saga, please come back alive. I'll show you what a true Shar can do! <laughs> Your toy is nothing against the might of the Ascendant. Yeah! I can't do a scream. I can't. I can't. It's too, I can't. I gotta wake people up. <laughs> ah! The two warriors' eyes burned with azure fire as they accelerated toward destiny. In an infinite instant, the two riders crossed each other, their swords moving quicker than what the universe could accept. Oh crap, they broke physics! They broke physics, ladies and gentlemen! The space-time continuum rippled as the swords tore through the universe's laws. Oh my gosh! Uh, the blackjack's joints gave out. Oh no! Causing explosions throughout the rider, sparks of electricity ran through its frame. Oh, fetch! No! As long as cockpit burst, impaling her as shrapnel. No, 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 no! 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 We, we were going to avoid her dying! This was not going to happen! Fetch. Gah. Blood dribbled down her face. She looked down in disbelief to see thin steel rods sticking out from her belly. Oh, no. Oh, no. Suddenly, the pain struck her at once, and she collapsed in agony, her eyes losing focus. No way! I lost that quickly? He sent an approach to Blackjack and grabbed it by the head, completely untouched. <laughs> now do you understand, princess? You will never become as powerful as I. For the truth of our power is that it feeds upon our dark emotions, twists and corrupts our minds, brings out the absolute evil lurking deep inside our hearts. Without hatred, you will never wield the power of Shars. Without tasting the true horror of the blackest defeat, you have no place in war. Only when you are destroyed in mind and body, stripped naked and stomped on, till every ember of hope has been extinguished can you truly hold the power of the Shars. Foolish girl, you sought to kill me? I have already died years ago. This woman is but an empty husk, kept alive by the monstrous machine called the Ascendant. You're wrong. The saga looked up, blood drib dribbling out of her mouth, and the fire of her eyes extinguished. I learned something the past few days. Power brings arrogance. It makes you start thinking that you deserve to have stuff that doesn't belong to you. It twists up your innards whenever you get jealous. But you know, the true power isn't about getting things. You can have all the love, wealth, and influence in the galaxy and still be weak. Because power ain't about stuff you have. It's about the stuff that can make you powerful. Alice's eyes changed. She looked down coldly upon a saga, like a disappointed matron about to punish her young daughter. Foolish girl. If you take this path, then all that awaits you will be a long, miserable death, as I found all those millennia ago. The throne of Ryuvia will, will, will bring certain doom to the unprepared. Abandon all your pretense of hope and destroy your enemies before they destroy you. This is not the time for philosophy. I appreciate it, but it's not the time. Wait. You're. Not! At that moment, Asaga snapped back to attention. Ugh, not again. Better than this quick before. I think it's time we said goodbye, Shar of Ryuvia. No! I'm afraid it's your loss. What? Have you lost your mind? No. Because I managed to buy the captain enough time. Captain, Captain, the combined fleet has broken through the packed fleet. They're coming to assist. About time. You have my apologies for our late arrival, Captain. But thanks to the reinforcements not arriving, the enemy is running low on munitions. It will not be long until the tide turns in our favor. Hmm. And I have further good news. A fleet of fresh packed carriers appeared from behind Sarah's moon. Nice! They worked quickly. Thanks to your early warning, my engineers have now restored full control over our ships. My fleet is now back on the field. Yes! Shields pumped the air, unable to contain his joy. His future self's gambit had worked. Even without Chigar's help, they had managed to restore Fontana's fleet. Now I understand. Now, I understand a certain rider has been giving you trouble. I'm 
afraid so, Admiral. Not only that, but his pilot's also a spitting image of my ex-girlfriend. Kind of gives me the creeps. Oh. Well, do please hold back any unsightly tears as we end her. All ships open fire. All ahead full. All ships open fire on the Nightmare Ascendant once you are in range. Oh, it's such a beautiful sight. Oh! <sighs> the Ascendant hit its thrusters, but renewed steam of firepower was too thick to dodge. Woo! Careful, Asaga! The Bianca used its mount momentum to shoot tow cables at the Blackjack and fall back towards the Sunrider. Talk about clutch. Thanks, Doc. No worries. Captain, our fire and fire is now clear. On your word. No matter how many times this never gets old. <laughs> fire the Vanguard Cannon! Yes! I love it! Ready? Aim! Oh, I love it. And the voices are back. Yeah? Sorry. Oh, that was so good. <sighs> the Nightmare Senate was completely enveloped in fire as the ship struck it from every direction. With the unexpected entry of Fontana's fleet, the tide of the battle had reversed. Everywhere around Alice, her ships lit on fire and broke apart against the onslaught of Fontana's assault carriers and advanced riders. At this rate, they'd be completely annihilated. This wasn't how I planned it. How, how was I foiled? How did the full shield see through my sister's spy? He was completely under our control. Wait, his actions are not consistent. Could, could he have had assistance from some outside meddler? The Wanderer. So you have betrayed us. But that means I may yet win. With the remaining energy remaining in the Ascendant, I'll have spun her rider around. Captain, it's the Ascendant. What the? The flaming hull of the Ascendant emerged from the Vanguard's beam and shot towards the Sunrider. It's on a collision course for the ship! Fire! Fire everything! The Sunrider unloaded everything in his arsenal against the flaming comet streaking towards the ship, but it was too late. All hands, brace for impact! Ava threw herself on top of shields. The two pressed themselves against the ground as the entire ship tumbled from the force of the collision. Holy crap. I'm so sorry I had to leave it there, but literally, I had woken my wife up and at that point it was like midnight and she had to go to work the next day it was it was bad i i made a, a big mistake when i recorded that late and that loudly so we'll have to wait for the dramatic conclusion which i believe will be the final episode for next time but thank you for being here thank you for being a part of this and thank you for being patient with my sunrider series i know it's been a long time coming unfortunately it seems like when things go wrong it goes wrong night work before the weekend which is great for me being able to address issues, but it's terrible when it comes to Sunrider's poor, poor health. So thank you for being patient. I really enjoyed this. I can't, I'm going really to be sad to see it end, but I mean, there should be another one coming someday. So cross your fingers for that. But until the next time, I'll see you later. So until the next video you watch with me or whatever you have to watch with me next, I'll see you there.